Hey, Cypress Lake members. I'm here with our director of player development, Jeremy Wells, who uh, once again, in the second year in a row, qualified to play in the PGA Championship. This year, it's at Valhalla in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, going back to the, your, the event, the, the National Club Pro Championship in Frisco, Texas, uh, just tell us a little bit about that. I know you, you had two great rounds to start, kind of had a tough round, the third round, which I think a lot of people had tough. It was a very tough day for a lot of people. But then you came back and you had the lowest round, final round of anybody by two shots and the only round under par. So tell me if you could, Jeremy, what changed from a not so good round in the third round to the round you had in the final round and then qualifying, tied for eighth out of 312 players. Tell me a little bit about that, that uh, going, going into that final round. So first things first, it was an incredibly difficult golf course. Uh, PGA Fields Ranch was built by the PGA of America to host major championships. They're gonna have a PGA championship in 27. They're gonna have a Ryder Cup soon. So this golf course played 74, 7,500 yards. It was brutal. The wind was blowing 20, 25. And looking back at shooting 80, um, it's easy to say it now because I played well after that, but looking back, the 80 wasn't that bad. <laughs> Um, I had like two bad holes. I shot a couple over on the back nine when I shot 80. I did not miss a single shot. Right. And my great caddy, Chris Black, who hopefully is watching this, <laughs> he would say the same. So overnight between rounds, um, you know, I'm fortunate. I have a good family. I have a great club I work at. My life's going to be okay no matter what. Right. But that helps. But overnight, I realized I'd only fallen back like two or three shots outside of the number. Right. And I didn't care about finishing 30th, 50th, 80th. All I cared about really was the top 20. And I knew if I got off to a solid start, I would have a chance later in the round. Right. Um, what I was able to do was just control the ball tee to green as well as I ever have. Um, driver, five iron into par fours, um, hitting just very difficult shot on all the par threes. I hit it to like 20, 25 feet pretty much all day. Yep. A lot of easy two putts, a couple easy birdies, and in awesome. the end, it added up to a fantastic performance. How about how about that uh, walk up to the your 18th hole, the, to the green? It was hitting, nice hitting the green in two, knowing that two putts was going to get you in. What, what was that feeling like? Yeah, it felt good. It's not over till the ball's in the hole, but I had about 15 feet straight up the hill, and I knew I just needed a two putt to finish it out, and. Um, you know, it felt good. It hit me after I finished, after I put it out. Uh, it was it was pretty emotional, just sure. for me personally, knowing I get this opportunity again. Um, selfishly, playing golf in front of the entire world <laughs> is yep. is pretty cool. Uh, but not only for me, my family, for the club. So it was it was a little overwhelming, yep. and I uh, had a really fun FaceTime with my wife, my kids, awesome. and uh, I was on cloud nine for awesome. sure. So. Going into your second uh, consecutive, I guess, back-to-back -back PGA Championship, last year was your first one, a lot going on, a lot being thrown at you. How are you preparing for this one differently, or what? what's the preparation uh, and planning like for this, this upcoming PGA next week? Yeah, so two main things. One, uh, it's almost a little too exciting, right, because it's such a big deal and it's so out of the ordinary for a club pro to be going and playing in a major tournament. Um, it would be like a tennis pro leaving for a week to go play in Wimbledon. Like it is kind of bizarre and it's a lot to take right. on, but from media um, obligations, I probably took on a little too much last year. So one thing I'm doing differently this year, uh, this week in between, you only get one week, I'm taking two days and I'm actually just going to a different facility so I can practice and play golf and really make sure that I'm focusing on my game because one or two shots can be worth a you know, really sure. big difference in something like this. Like this. And then secondly, um, last year I realized when I got to the tournament, I was exposed from an equipment standpoint. I typically play a Callaway UT. This is my essentially driving iron. It's 18 degrees. Yep. And I can hit it low, I can hit it pretty far, pretty straight, but out of the rough it's useless and from especially the rough we play in these things in the major yeah like yep. you can't hit it and secondly 
there's a number of shots that are like 240, 250 yards, par threes, where you have to hit the ball in the air and get it to stop. So I've been working for a couple months with Callaway to get a hybrid that I like. And I have a 19 degree hybrid and this bigger shape does two things. One, it helps me to get the ball in the air and two, this slides through the rough a lot better. Nice. So this is a club that I really think at a tournament like this could help me, you know, a half a shot around, shot around something like that. So that was one awesome. thing I learned last year. Cool. Um, any other things that you might be doing planning or? Going up Sunday, um, gonna play 18 holes on Sunday, and then I'll probably play nine holes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, get out there, you know, warm up, practice. If I play nine, I'll go work on my putting or whatever I need to for 30 minutes after. But I'm gonna try to kind of get out of there a little quicker than last year when I'm practicing. I think yeah. uh, for everybody who followed me last year, we were in like 30 something place through 24 holes. I did not make the cut, so I played 36 holes. But being in 30 some place in a major, huge deal yep I ended up missing the cut by I think four so you could say I ran out of gas <laughs> uh, so this year kind of looking at it like hopefully a little more like a normal tournament where I'll just do my prep and sure hopefully be ready to hit it well on Thursday awesome well Jeremy best of luck to you as you go up there I know uh, we have some members that are going up to watch you as well yep. and uh, those that aren't are gonna be watching you from afar and uh, with that, Jeremy has, there's a lot of expenses and whatnot to go on. So um, below this video in the link, uh, if you would like to help him out, say some, uh, you can re register, click the link and register. And uh, there's a, a spot there as well if the members want to leave a note um, to wish you good well. But uh, best of luck up there in Louisville. Uh, we're going to be cheering hard for you and uh, hope you make that cut. Thanks. See you guys after Valhalla. Awesome. Thank you.